okay hello students let us see the second problem on bisection method so here's the question using bisection method find an approximate root of sin x by 1 by x which is a transcendental equation lies between x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 1.5 they have given the interval so no need to worry about the getting the interval so measured in radians since it's a trigonometric function so the values has to be measured in the radians only carry out computation up to seven stage you have to seven stage you have to uh, the computations seven stage you have to do the seven stages of computation uh, in the previous problem it's no uh, did not mention usually it is enough to take uh, eight to nine uh, 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 computations for six marks so it is mentioned here seven that's enough let us not use that method let us make a column here we'll use a column we'll reduce our work so so what is that is the your function is f of x is your rearrange the function f of x is equal to x into sin x is equal to one or i can write this is x into sin x minus one minus one right that is equal to zero okay that is equal to zero mm, now uh, let us write over here we'll do this one. we'll write only one step equation x into sin x minus one which is equal to zero now we know that f of one calculate f of one that is less than zero use the radian don't use uh, in the calci there's a radian option you use radian f of 1 is less than 0 and uh, f of 1.5 is greater than 0 f of 1.5 is greater than 0 so you uh, this is you have to carry out 7 computation 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay uh, what is a a and uh, a b is 1.5 so the midpoint of this is 1.25 if possible you calculate the value of f of x here you will get 0 0.186 0 0.186 it is greater than 0 that means your root lies between 1 and 1.25 right so your a is 1 only your b is now 1.25 this is positive right to 1.5 this is positive and this is 1 is negative so take the midpoint of this is that is 1.125 u so your value is 0 0.015 sorry 0 0.015 which is greater than 0 again your value is this is negative and this is positive at this right so this is 1 and this is 1.125 u so take the midpoint of this take the midpoint of this is that is you will get 1.0625 you will get your negative value which is less than 0 you will calculate the value this and write it here I am not going to write here this please do fill this gap which is less than 0 that means this is positive root and this is negative root right this is negative root let me write the negative root first here 1.0625 and the positive root is 1.125 take the midpoint of this use the calci that you will get 1.09375 1 1.09375 you will get here negative value negative root so for this it is you are in negative root and uh, for 1.125 it is positive let me write as it is so here i can 1.09375 i have written so now take the midpoint of this you will get 1.109375 again you will get negative root calculate this value is negative f of x is negative so your one root is a value is 1.109375 and your b is same that is it's retain 1.125 now you take the midpoint of this that is 1.1171875 you will get positive value which is greater than 0 please check this value now this what uh, 
for this you have negative for but this is your positive value so this is your b value 1.1171875 right so for this is you have to write this row value in one point one point one zero sorry one point one zero nine three seven five when you take the midpoint of this you will get one point one one seven one eight seven five you get sorry not this one as per now so midpoint of those two one point one one three two eight one five you will get negative so approximate finally this is your approximate row this is your so approximate root of f of x is equal to x sin x minus one equal to zero is one point one one three two eight one One point one one three two eight one. This is your approximate value. I left this. No need to use that previous method. You just make a column like this. Solve.